So, Elaine, Ed, Jan and Mandy, you're playing to win the Chummy Brummies £29,000. CJ and Daphne, you're playing for something which money can't buy. Yes, the Egghead's reputation. As usual, I'll ask each team three questions in turn. This time the questions are all general knowledge and you are allowed to confer. Chummy Brummies, the question is, are your four brains better than the Egghead's two? Chummy Brummies, would you like to go first or second? I think we'll go first, Sean. I think we'll go first. Go, go first. first. All right, then the moment of truth has arrived. Let's see if you can win the money. First set of questions for you, Chummy Brummies, and the best of luck to you. During World War II, the Douglas C-47 transport plane was better known in the RAF by what name? Dakota, Mustang or Boston? During World War II, the Douglas C-47 transport plane was better known in the RAF by what name? I'm going to leave this one to Ed because he likes military history, so... I think it's the Dakota. OK, the C-47, Douglas C-47, better known. As the Dakota, it's the right answer. Well done. Correct. So one to you. Eggheads, the American politician Sarah Palin was elected governor of which state in 2006? Hawaii, Alaska or California? The American politician Sarah Palin was elected governor of which state in 2006? Alaska. Alaska is correct, Eggheads. One apiece. Um. Chummy Brummies. Second question. Which capital city lies opposite Helsinki on the Gulf of Finland? Is it Tallinn, Riga or Minsk? Which capital city lies opposite Helsinki on the Gulf of Finland? It's not Minsk. Between Tallinn and Riga. Okay. Can you visualise it? No. <laughs> <laughs> um. Sure. We don't know any better, so... OK. We're not 100%, but we're going to go for Tallinn. Tallinn. The answer is Tallinn. That's correct. <laughs> OK, well, Tallinn, they worked out well done. And, Eggheads, second question for you. The trio of supermodel friends that became known in high fashion circles as the Trinity was Naomi Campbell, Linda Evangelista, and who else? Elle McPherson... Claudia Schiffer or Christy Turlington. The trio of supermodel friends that became known in high fashion circles as the Trinity was Naomi Campbell, Linda Evangelista and who else? I don't, I don't know, but I wouldn't have gone for Elle McPherson no. personally. No. I'd go between the other two. Yeah. Now, Christy Turlington's obviously older. Yes. Um, um. But, I mean, Evangelista's quite a bit older than Campbell. Claudia Schiffer would be my instinct, but... And that's when I heard the three names, what I thought of. So Fine. we will go with Claudia Schiffer. OK. Uh, Naomi Campbell, Linda Evangelista and Christy Turlington made up the trinity. Oh. Well. well, there you are. Well, <laughs> it's wide open for you, chummy brummies. Either, and this is the preferred option, you give me the correct answer here, you win the money. Or they get uh, another one wrong, you've still won the money. But um, <laughs> let's, um, let's keep your fate in your own hands. Best of luck with this for £29,000 and the Egghead's Crown. Which of Jane Austen's novels was initially titled First Impressions and was rejected by a publisher? Mansfield Park, Pride and Prejudice or Persuasion? Which of Jane Austen's novels was initially titled First Impressions and was rejected by a publisher? I th I'd say Pride and Prejudice. I recollect somebody saying something about that being rejected just because her first impression of Darcy is the decent. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 We'll yeah. Go, with that, we'll yeah. go with that. I think. Yeah. Are, you, are you okay with that? Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. £29,000. No pressure. <laughs> None at all. <laughs> Line. So we're going to go with Pride and Prejudice. Pride and Prejudice, first impressions. The answer is Pride and Prejudice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> How does that feel? Oh, that's just that's fantastic. Amazing, fantastic. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you must have watched it so many times. We have. You've seen so many, you know, 28 teams on this particular run. 28 yeah. teams have come and yeah. uh, had their hopes dashed by this lot. And uh, all of you who took their places in the question room, and including Peter, uh, handled the pressure really, really well. Well done to you all. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. For today only, you are officially cleverer than the eggheads and prove they can be beaten. Join us next time on Eggheads to see if a new team of challengers will be just as successful. Until then, from all of us here, goodbye.